Hello, I, I don't believe we've met. Uh, Clive Winfrey. Uh, hello, my name no, is... No, 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 don't tell me, don't tell me. No, it's a little game I like to play at parties. Oh. Yes. Guessing people's names. Yes, I'm very good at it too, yes. I always guess their name by what they look like, you know. Ah, well, I think you're on a loser with me, old boy, because mm. I have the most unusual name you've ever heard. <laughs> I bet I can guess it. I bet you can't. <laughs> How much you bet me? Well, I... I'm so sure that you will not be able to guess my name. I'll tell you what, if you get it right, I will allow you to spend the night with my wife, Daphne, the beautiful lady in the red. Now, if you get it, you see, she's, she's smiling, looking, and uh, <laughs> chuckling away there. Yes. She obviously fancies you. <laughs> now, if you get my name correct, yes. she's yours. All right. Now, how many guesses can I have? You can have as many as you like. Oh, all right, all right. Well, you look to me uh, like a prat. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney Pratt. <laughs> no, 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 no. Perhaps you're more like a, I say, more like a Wally. Are you, uh, let's see, <laughs> Wally Partington Smythe? No. Uh, Monty Rothermere? No. Uh, Aristotle Bonaventure? No. Otis Quigley? No. Uh, Humbert Bracegirl? No. no. Uh, Tennessee Clitterhouse? No. Mordecai Wimperis? No. Uh, Ezra Barrington Crimm? No. <laughs> um, Ebenezer Flatfast? No. <laughs> uh, Ignatius Giddy? No. Washington Thwackhurst. <laughs> Jelly Roll Lanfranc. <laughs> Israel Arafat. <laughs> I think you're just guessing. <laughs> no, no. Look, I'll give you a clue. My surname yeah. sounds like something that comes out at night. Comes out at night. Uh, Malcolm Dentures. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Horlicks. <laughs> Freddy Star. No, 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 more exciting than that. Oh, more exciting. Dingle Tomcat. <laughs> No, I don't think you're going to get it. <laughs> I don't think your wife's going to get it. <laughs> no, I'll give you another clue. Oh, yes, right. My Christian name yeah. sounds like a place in London with all the letters muddled up. Uh, Lewisham Post Office. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. I meant an anagram. Oh, an anagram. Like, you mean like Dickapilly Circus and that sort of thing. <laughs> yes, well, like... let me think. Waterloo. Yes. Lou Water. No, no. Uh, chalk Farm. Fork Charm. No. Uh, hide Crack Porner. <laughs> No, you're not even getting warmer, boy. Uh, uh, I've got to mingle with the crowd, but remember, the bet still stands. If you manage to guess it, my wife is yours. Oh, right. Uh, oh, Arbel March tea fruit bat. <laughs> my God, you got it. You guessed it. Uh, uh, so you... I get the prize, do I? Of course you do. I don't go back in my way. Tell me, how did you manage it? Well, luckily, earlier in the evening, I met a very charming lady called Mrs. Arbel March tea fruit bat in the red over there. Uh, <laughs> Tonight, we show you something smooth, streamlined, functional, and fast. <laughs> but that's enough about me. <laughs> I'm standing here in the kitchen of the future, the kitchen that's got every labor-saving device you can think of, apart from the Liberal Party. <laughs> <laughs> Let us look around, shall we? First of all, here is the special eye-level grill. <laughs> Designed by Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> And then in this one multi-unit, uh, there is a mixer, the oven, and the washing machine all in one. Well, how does it work? Well, supposing, you see, supposing... Uh, supposing I want some crumpet at tea time. <laughs> well, supposing I do. <laughs> what I do after five o'clock is my own business. <laughs> now, what about a cake for my birthday? Now, I shall need some cake mix. Now, over here, you see we have cake. There, that's for shortcake. And, of course, that's a very long cake. <laughs> we'll take the short cake, I think. Uh, we put it in there, <laughs> add the eggs, <laughs> and the milk, <laughs> icing sugar, and, of course, 21 candles. <laughs> there we are. Now, we mix for only a few seconds and simply pop it into the oven like this. <laughs> But remember, of course, that this oven and mixer is also the washing machine, and I'm doing some laundry for the weatherman in the next studio at the same time. <laughs> there we are. Now, what do we get when we turn the dial? Oh! <coughs> well, we get a small electric shock. So... <laughs> <laughs> we'll ignore that for the moment. Now, let's just check the time on our digital clock here. <laughs> Well, either it's two o'clock or they're still on strike. <laughs> this exciting innovation I have here is the new kitchen cow. <laughs> there it is. Right, now we, we simply put the grass in here, like this. And uh, the milk comes out here. 
Now, this, of course, entirely replaces the milkman. Unless you're the woman at number 44 with the bow front. <laughs> now, then, what about... What about the food of the future? Now, for a start, it's going to be bigger. Now, let me demonstrate. We scientists, uh, we have found that the old vegetables were too small, far too small. For instance, uh, what can I do with this carrot? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, madam. But seriously, I tried carrots as decoration. I even bought my wife this 18-carat ring. But, uh, <laughs> uh, now, here, now, on the contrary, here is a single section from the giant super carrot of the future. Now, there it is. You see, now, if you ate all that side, you could see Muhammad Ali in a dark room with your eyes shut. <laughs> Even if he wasn't there. <laughs> On this side, you see, there's Matt Monroe singing, I'm in the mood for love. <laughs> of course, it doesn't end there. Here is the new BBC radish. Here we are. <laughs> with 13 guaranteed repeats on BBC Two. <laughs> Thank you. Here is the shredded wheat for the woman with two men in her life. <laughs> Here's one for the woman with 20 men in her life. <laughs> Ladies with larger appetites than that should see their doctor. <laughs> He'll probably give them one of these. <laughs> Here is the new uh, oven ready budgerigar. There we are. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, wrong cucumber. Try it. <laughs> here, here is the mouse trap of the future. Here it is. It consists of a piece of cheese, a Jimmy Young record, and a brick. <laughs> uh, the mouse smells the cheese, he comes out of his hole, plays the Jimmy Young record. When the poor little so and so puts his paws over his ears, you creep up behind him, hit him with a brick. <laughs> uh, and here we have. Ah, here we have the new egg-laying machine, the kitchen egg-laying. Well, what makes it light up, you ask? Simple. Inside is a battery head. <laughs> How do you feed it? Well, simple. You take one of these pellets. Now, in this pellet, there is enough concentrated hen food for six months. I put it in there, load it in the special gun, and by means of this aperture in here, I shoot the pellet straight into its mouth. Thus. <laughs> There's another hole on this end. <laughs> That's the wrong end of the box. No wonder the eggs come out cracked. <laughs> well, now, before I leave you, it's just time to remove our cake from the oven and also to see how the weatherman's laundry is getting on. Now, here we are. Ah, oh, yes, there we are. There it is. A very nice uh, cake in a wool rayon mixture. <laughs> With a zip front, there we are. <laughs> and of course, here we have a fine set of beautifully iced underpants. There we are. <laughs> the weatherman should be very pleased with these. When his wife blows out the candles tonight, there'll be a cold front and a following wind. <laughs> Enjoy that. Thanks very much. I say it's a, it's a super game, isn't it? I, I, I can't understand why I've never tried it before. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. <laughs> I loved it. But thanks to you, old boy, of course, from now on, I should be a dedicated squish player. <laughs> squash. Huh? The game is called Squash. Oh, Squash. That's right. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, uh, who actually won? I mean, I couldn't quite grasp the scoring uh, mechanism. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did I win? Yes, you flake. Yes, you won. Oh, you won. Oh, that's good. How many goals did I get? <laughs> goals? Well, you know, uh, the thing is, uh, what uh, uh, runs? Points. Runs. Uh, points. 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 Yes. Points. How many points did I get? Well, the score was, if yeah. you want to know, yes. game love. Yeah. Game love. Game love. <laughs> game love. <laughs> See? Yes. You won mm. four games. To love. Oh, I see. So I got four and you got love. Yeah. I see. But how many is love? <laughs> love is nothing. Oh, no, no, that's not right, I'm sure, because I'm sure you got a goal earlier on, right at the beginning. A point. A point, I mean. A yes, point. A point. Yeah, well, yes. yes, of course I did. That was when you... Oh, I know. I was holding the thing by the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> I must remember. Hold the bat yes. by the thin end. The racket. Racket, I mean. The yes. racket. Yes. This is... what. Well, 
This is a ball. Uh, yes. The game is called squash. Yes. Let us start from basic principles. Yes. The whole thing is called squash. Squash. This is a ball. Yes. This is a blasted racket. Did you see that? <laughs> that's what that is. That is a racket. I see. Will, you, will it work now? You've done that? <laughs> care to be honest I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to be playing squash anymore ever oh I say that's a pity because I was hoping we could have another game next week I mean I I thought well you know I thought I I might get a bit better <laughs> a bit better a bit better look matey I am the secretary of this squash club you know I, I, I mean, I captain the A team. You know, I'm one of the best players round here, as a matter of fact. You know, I won the area finals last year and all that sort of thing, you know. You know, I'm good. <laughs> you know, good. And you come along here, if I may say so, you never played the game before. You're vastly overweight, if I may say so. You're very slow on the court. You've gone up that court in your ruggy Burton suit <laughs> and you've thrashed me. You've pounded me into the ground. You pulverized me in front of my friends four games to love. Well, how do you do it? Beginner's luck. <laughs> It's a fluke, that's what it is, a fluke, mate. It won't happen again, I'll tell you what. It won't happen the next time. No, well, it won't be the next time, with it? Because you've broken your rocket. My racket! <laughs> I'll get a new one, I don't care, I'll get a new one. Look, mate, I'll get a new one, and tomorrow morning, here, 10 o'clock, things will be different. Oh, no, no, sorry, old boy, no, not, not tomorrow, no can do. What do you mean, no can do? Well, I've got to go up to a place called Lord's tomorrow. I've got to meet two chaps called Botham and Willis. I've got to play a game called Cracket or something. Oh. <laughs> Ethel. What is it, Arnold? Lars bin Mollikin. <laughs> what? Let's talk. What talk? There's them as says that you're keeping Fancy Man on side. Fancy Man? Aye. Me? Where would I keep a Fancy Man? In cupboard, happen. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Give over your daft apath. I don't have no truck with Fancy Men. What about Archie Grimshaw? Archie Grimshaw? That were 12 years since. Oh, shut up and feet dog. Aye, feet dog, that's all I'm good for, feet and dog. Hey, come on, Towser, wake up your mangy cur. Come on, get up. Don't call him mangy, you don't like it. Oh, well, come on, lad, get up. At least in these time. Come on, time for your doggy chunks, come on. He doesn't like doggy chunks. Now, give him something decent. Decent? Give him something decent. Do you know what he had yesterday, neat? He had roast beef, he had Yorkshire pudding, he had two veg and sherry trifle. <laughs> and you see him cock up his ears at the sound of sherry trifle? Yon dog's an alcoholic. <laughs> hey, listen, Ethel. Things is all right between thee and me, aren't they, lass, eh? Oh, you daft cluck. Of course they are. <laughs> I mean, all this talk about me having a little piece on side. Where would I find that in Macklethwaite? Eh, uh, you joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Calm the shen, calm the shen. Don't take on so, Towser. Don't take on. You reckon he's jealous, love? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be daft. He's a dog. Uh, Stop scratching, Towser. There's something funny about yon dog. What I do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> <laughs> on what? Well, he's not like other dogs, is he? I mean, I come in yesterday, he was sitting in the front room there in the rocking chair, bald as brass, reading newspaper. <laughs> Last Christmas Eve, he had his arm round thee. Oh, well, that were only natural. He'd had too much Tetley's best bitter. That would account for it. Hey, wait a minute. He's always got his arm round thee. If I go up to Wally Clackhandles of an evening, I don't see their dog sitting on the sofa with his arm round Winnie Clackhandles. <laughs> well, of course not. It's a bloody chihuahua, ain't it? <laughs> Yes, 
I'd forgotten that. Yes, that's quite true, yes. <laughs> yes, it's a long way round when he clack handle for a chihuahua. Just shut up and have a fag. No, thanks, no. I'm trying to give him up. It's the price of dog food that's doing it. I can't afford it, me son. No, but there's something worrying me about that dog. I don't know what it is. There's... I know what it is. <laughs> We've never taken him down to the vets to be done, have we? <laughs> Just a minute, he's smoking. Well, so what? There's a dog on Esther Anson says sausages. Sausages? <laughs> Listen, I'm not having any more. He's going down to the vets tomorrow. I bloody aren't going down to the vets tomorrow. <laughs> I bloody are going to the... I'm not going to sit here in my own parlour discussing things with a damn dog. He's talking to me. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'll admit it. I'm a man. I'm fed up. Absolutely fed up. <laughs> Crawl about on all fours. <laughs> Listen, I knew there was something fishy going on it. Hey, you're Archie Grimshaw. Hey, so it is. Archie Grimshaw, you've been living here free for 12 years, man and dog, haven't you? Hey, I've been going out earning your doggy chunks. You've been having your filthy paws around my effort. <laughs> Don't think it's been easy. 12 years running after sticks, fetch, die for Queen, live for country, been an absolutely bloody dog's life. <laughs> Listen, I've been taking you up round park, haven't I? I've had more cold walks than you've had hot dinners. I haven't had many hot dinners since I've been here, I tell you that. And I... you killed the apple tree, didn't you? All Should right, it? all right. <laughs> all right, lads, you just sort it out. I'm going to see a man about another man. Listen, listen, Archie Grimshaw, you're out. You're out of this door tomorrow morning and you can take your rubber bone with you. I don't think so. Oh, you don't think so? Then it's down the PDSA for you, lad. Nay, don't you forget this. I know about you and Winnie Clackhandle. Winnie Clackhandle? Yeah. <laughs> Every Friday, Nick and Ethel's at bingo. Who is on Mac with smelly old bone? Me. Who is on sofa with Winnie Clackhandle? The. Hi, hi. Maybe I've been a bit hasty. I've been a little hasty with you. Our fair dues, Towser, at uh, Archie. <laughs> Listen, all right, you can stay here. You can do what you like in the house, know what I mean. But you must be a dog for it, neighbours, all right? Done. Eh? Absolutely right. done, yes. Right. Three. They say, only on one condition, no more outings to Crufts. We've been there seven times. The best we've done is got one smelly, rotten, lousy third place. <laughs> Listen, you had your belly stroked by Clement Freud, didn't you? How <laughs> many of us have had that honour? All right, then, no jealousy, No eh? jealousy. Live and let live. Put your little paw there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all's well that ends well, too. Oh, 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 well, that's nice. Well, I'm going to feed Cat. Oh, yeah. Tiddles? Yeah, there, baby dog. <laughs> <laughs>